Hi, welcome back to my channel, Planet Saving Novice. It's been a while since I've done an EV video. So today I want to talk about how, when you're talking about electric cars, and um, people say, I would get an electric car, but there's no charging infrastructure. So I want to talk about that a little bit because I'm not sure what people mean by that. So I'm gonna show you what charging infrastructure looks like. Infrastructure. Charger. Infrastructure. And if you've got a fuse box, you can have your own home charging point. Obviously, if you live in a mid-terrace house with no drive or in a flat, this might be more difficult. But if you have a driveway and a fuse box, there is infrastructure. Here we are, we're outside the Genie Point charging station. KFC and Istervolt. There's two charging stations, so that's good. Both that goes in that side, so you make sure that's securely in, and there's a light there, which I presume means we're all okay and we're in. And then we get the cable on the other side into here, which is the Sage Eden pod point, and they have different references, it says. This is Ecotricity Highways charging station. So there you go, hopefully that has helped highlight what charging infrastructure actually looks like. Of course, if you're looking for a petrol station equivalent with rows of charging stations, then no, that doesn't really exist. And the closest that you will get to that is probably a service station on a motorway. If the issue actually is the charging infrastructure is too slow, then that's a valid argument because yep it is it is slow it's not as quick as filling up with with petrol at the minute but they are working on that and there are trials ongoing down south in the uk but this video highlights that the charging infrastructure does exist it's at your home it's at the local shops it's on the motorways the the the, the infrastructure is there I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.